Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing black holes, more specifically the Schwarzschild radius. So let's take, a, let's take a look at what this radius really represents. Over here we have a singularity with each of these rays being light beamed. And so we can see that there is this dotted line which represents where the light stops getting sucked into the singularity and pushed towards the point in the middle. These line, these rays outside this circle are being curved by the singularity but are not being attracted into it. And so that's essentially, essentially what the Schwarzschild radius is finding. It's finding how far out from the center of a black hole light can escape. So let's look at the derivation of this. So in order for light to escape the singularity, the kinetic energy of the light has to be greater than or equal to the potential energy of the gravity from the singularity. And so to find this radius here, the radius is going to be just on the border where the light can't escape and where the light can escape. So that's essentially going to be when the kinetic energy of the light is going to be just equal to the gravitational potential energy from the singularity. And so if we rearrange this equation, we can get the Lagrange of the light. And we can set that equal to zero because when you move this over to the other side, there's nothing here which is zero, and this gets a, a minus sign. So we already know the kinetic energy equation is 1 half mv squared, and since the potential energy is going to be gravitational potential energy, we're going to be using the equation g big M times small m over r. Now, we can move this to the other side. Now, let's take a look at this equation. We have two small m's, so that means they can cancel out. And we know the velocity for the speed of light is going to be c, so we can just plug in c for v. Now, these terms are very similar to the terms that we have in, short, in the Schwarzschild radius equation. So we can just rearrange this and get the final equation. So through the Lagrange of the, the light and the, the gravitational potential energy, we can derive the Schwarzschild radius equation. And we can find the border at which light can and can't escape gravitational energy of a black hole. Thanks for watching.